Here's just a little usability example. This is a form from the BT router software that we use in the office. And it's a login screen that you get quite often. And it's just really bad. And why is it bad? Well, it's only got one function. You enter your password and then you click submit. And the password is right over on the left hand side of the screen. And then the submit button is all the way over on the right hand side. The nearest button to the field where you enter the password is the button that says I forgot the password. It's also a much bigger button so it's the most obvious thing. Now unless you read the text on it, I would guess that a lot of people are going to enter the password and then click the big box which is near it. Um, but that's not the one that you're meant to click, you're meant to click the submit. So here's a, an alternative design for that same form. You put in your password you then have a bigger submit button next to it, which is the one you really want. And then I've changed forgot password to a little text link underneath, which is a lot lower priority. And when you look at it like this, there's no doubt about the thing that you're meant to be clicking next. And the forgot password is less noticeable because you shouldn't need it very often. So it's just a little tip. So the principle here is make the primary next action the most obvious thing. And anything that is an edge case, anything that's not meant to be used so often, make it less prominent.